Hi, I'm David Lingard and I'm the team leader for our small satellite experimentation here at uh, in DST Group. The important thing that's happened in recent decades really is just the miniaturization of electronics which means that you can fit uh, systems into these, these small volumes that can achieve quite meaningful missions. With our, our Buccaneer mission, the key thing that we're trying to achieve there is we're putting a, a digital high frequency receiver up into orbit, into low earth orbit, and we're going to use that receiver to receive signals from the Jindalee operational radar network transmitters, which that, that's our over the horizon radar system in defense. So in terms of understanding how well the drawn transmitting arrays are working, it's very useful to have a, a control target that we understand really, really well, such as the Buccaneer spacecraft a long way away from the transmitting arrays and that's why Buccaneer is so useful in this context. So it's receiving those signals directly from the transmitting arrays and what that allows us to do is to better understand how healthy the transmitting arrays are, to better understand how the transmitting arrays are illuminating targets such as aircraft and also to better understand how the effect of the, uh, that the ionosphere has on that illumination of targets. So once we collect that data and analyze it and perform the calibration activities, what that is really leading to is the ability to use JORN to more accurately locate where targets are. And of course, that's very, very beneficial for our surveillance and, and rec uh, reconnaissance activities. We're indebted to our US partners who have provided us with a launch opportunity. So we're going to launch in 2017 on a NASA Delta II rocket. And uh, yeah, that's a tremendous privilege to, to be working with NASA and to get that opportunity. We've also been working in very, very close collaboration with our partners at the University of New South Wales, Canberra. And so they're our partners in the Buccaneer missions. And that's been a very successful collaboration. So for, for the Buccaneer mission, we're going to have two ground stations. We'll have one here at Edinburgh that's being built by DST Group, and the University of New South Wales, Canberra, will have another ground station in Canberra. And so we'll have those two facilities to be able to communicate with the satellite. Here at DST Group, my team are very, very excited about this mission and, uh, and about you know, pushing the envelope in, ter in terms of Australia's involvement in space and space engineering.